Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of data structure. Our today's topic is 2D array examples. Hi, myself Janish Shah, your instructor. So, outlines of the today's lecture is first we'll see that how can we calculate the memory address in row major and then we'll see about the column major examples. Now, let's first start with the formula of row major. Students, as you know that in single dimensional array the formula is a of i is equal to base address plus i minus l multiplied by size right but at the time we have only one dimensional array right now here we have 2d arrays as i have already taught you that in 2d array the elements are stored in two different patterns the first one is a row major and second one is a column major in row major students if this is our matrices then the elements are stored in according to row wise and in column major students the elements are stored according to the column wise right so here what the first example is for the row major fine the formula for the row major memory address calculation is a of ij is equal to base address plus size multiply by c minus i minus lr plus j minus lc okay so these are some there are some new term terms for you so what do you mean by the c what do you mean by the lr and what do you mean by lc let's see first what is i i is the row index i is the row index then j j is a column index so i and j both are clear right now i is a row index j is a column index b a stands for base address correct now the next is size size means size of the element not array make it clear size means size of the element if we have integer type of an array then size will become 2 for floating it will be 4 right so now next is c students c means total number of columns but before that i would like to talk about the lr and lc students lr remember in single dimensional array l means lower bound of indexes but right now here we have two different index for one is for row second one for the columns that's why lr stands for lower bound of row and lc stands for lower bound of column now let's move forward the next is uc students so uc stands for the upper bound of column and what do you mean by the ur ur stands for the upper bound of row now let's see what is next next is c students so c that means c that means the total number of column now let's see the c is equal to total number of column as you know the total number what do you mean by total number of elements in array single dimensional just remember that the total number of elements in single dimensional array r is equal to u minus l plus 1 students again u minus l plus 1 q is equal to upper bound l is equal to lower bound and we need to add one more number now so same according to that here total number of columns total number of columns means uc minus uc minus lc plus 1 okay so uc minus lc plus 1 is equal to total number of columns fine so here this is the formula for row major examples now let's move forward to the examples so here our the first example is okay just read the example or just read the problem very carefully the example is calculate the address of b of 6 8 calculate the address of b of 6 8 if the given array is b of 11 13 so here the array is b of 11 13 we need to calculate about the address b of 6 8 where the base address is 1000 fine so students here we have base address 1000 wait for a minute the array is of type integer or floating we need to check it out so here the array is floating type an array right so now we have all the data so just write down the data first we need to write down the i j then base address then total number of columns and size 
students what do you mean by the i i that means row index that you need to find it out j that means column index that you want to find out so here i and j become 6 and 8 respectively so i is equal to 6 j is equal to 8 base address is 1000 it is already given in the problem then given r and c okay wait for a minute here array is b of 11 13 that means 11 shows total number of rows and 13 shows total number of columns so b of 11 13 it means total number of rows and total number of columns so we already have c then array is b of 11 13 now just watch out the what is the exactly indexes range of index for row and column so here the row total number of row are, rows are 11 that's why indexes should be from 0 to 10 see b of 0 to 10 and b of 0 to 12 this is the range of rows and columns now let's see what next students what we need to find it out what we just need to find out the address before that c let me calculate c again c is equal to uc minus lc plus 1 what is the value of lr lower bound of row 0 to 10 0 to 10 that means lower bound of row is 0 again lower bound of column is also 0 so c is equal to uc minus lc plus 1 that becomes 12 minus 0 plus 1 is equal to 13 now just write down the formula our formula is a of ij is equal to base address plus side star c into i minus lr plus j minus lc so just put your all the data into the formula so here it is the thousand multiplied by the size of is that as it is a floating type in array size is 4 4 multiplied by c c that means total number of columns total number of columns are 13 multiply by 6 minus 0 6 that means i lower bound is 0 j 8 lower bound of column is 0 then just solve this equation you will get your answer 1 3 double 4 now let's move forward to the next example students our next example is row major this is little bit tricky okay why because right now here just watch the example the example is the given array is p of minus 4 triple dot 6 and minus 2 triple dot 10 what this range what is triple dot i have already told you it's a range range of indices okay so here the row indexes is ranges from minus 4 to 6 and column from minus 2 to 10 so now what we need to find it out here we need to find it out the address of p of minus 1 8 and the base address is 70 and the array is of type an integer type of array so here just write it down all the data okay first i is equal to minus 1 j is equal to 8 base address is equal to 70 and size is equal to 2 now what happens with r and c let's look at it out first r that means total number of rows how to calculate ur minus lr plus 1 do we need it no what we need we need total number of columns just calculate it c capital c is equal to uc minus lc plus 1 students make sure here the column range is already given so what is the exactly column range minus 2 to 10 so minus 2 to 10 10 becomes your uc then minus 2 becomes your lc so just put it into the formula and get the answer the answer is 13 so here we have total number of columns 13 now write down the formula again to calculate the address a of ij is equal to base address plus size multiplied by into bracket c into i minus lr plus j minus lc bracket complete just put the all the values into the formula and get the answer fine so here the answer is 168 so now let's move forward to the next topic next topic is for formula for column major students formula for column major is little bit similar to the formula of row major if you can see here the formula is a of ij is equal to a of ij is equal to base address plus size multiplied by base address plus size multiplied by first is not c c if directly just write i minus lr i minus lr plus r into j minus lc r into j minus lc fine so that is the difference between the row major and column major formula 
in row measure formula we need to calculate total number of columns and in column measure formula we need to calculate total number of rows so students now let's see again what do you mean by i j and each and every terms i that means row index j that means column index b a that means base address then lr lower bound of row lc lower bound of column size that means size of the each element then the next is capital r wait capital c that means total number of columns same like that here capital r becomes total number of rows total number of rows is equal to ur minus lr plus 1 now let's move forward to the example so example for 2d array column major calculate the address of a of 6 3 then the given array is a of 9 10 so students here array is already given array is a of 9 10 that means total number of row is 9 total number of column is 10 r and c are already there then we need to calculate the address about 6 and 3 i is equal to 6 and j is equal to 3 here the array is a floating type array that means size of the array 4 sorry size of the element becomes 4 and elements are in column major order if in our exam paper there is no written like this that elements are in column major or row major you just need to suppose suppose the elements are in column major or elements are in row major and apply the formula according to it okay fine now let's put the data first i is equal to 6 j is equal to 3 base address is equal to 102 size is equal to 4 then given r and c r is equal to 9 c is equal to 10 and array is a of 9 10 that means range is can range should be 0 to 8 and 0 to 9 now move forward what we need to find it out we have need to find out the total number of rows r is equal to ur minus lr plus 1 ur that means upper bound of row upper bound of row is 8 and lr that means lower bound of row that is 0 so 8 minus 0 plus 1 it becomes also 9 now just write down the formula a of ij a of ij is equal to base address plus size multiply by i minus lr plus r into j minus lc fine so here according to the formula we just need to put out the data just put the data and get the answer students your answer is 234 so what is the exactly address of a of 6 3 that is 234 now let's take out the last example of our today's lecture okay now see read it carefully the given array is p of minus 4 3 and 2 to 13 so here the array is given p of minus 4 3 and 2 to 13 that is the range range of rows and range of columns i hope you already know about this fine next next is as the elements are stored in a column major order so here the elements are stored in a column major order now calculate the address of 36th element of the array if base address is 150 now this is very important here there is no details about i and j that what exactly row index and what exactly the column index we need to find out but the given data is calculate the address of 36th element okay so before moving forward to the i and j just first we need to write out the given data so here i and j are no i and j are not there fine then is b that means base address is equal to 150 size size that means integer type of an array so obviously size becomes 2 then given r and c students do you have r and c right now no you need to calculate it okay fine so here so our array is p of minus 4 to 3 and 2 to 13 that means lower bound of row becomes minus 4 and upper bound of row becomes 3 lower bound of column becomes 2 and upper bound of column becomes 13 so calculate the r and c here r is equal to ur minus lr plus 1 that means 3 minus minus 4 plus 1 it becomes 8 and total number of column that means c c becomes 12 so exactly what we get we get the idea that there are 8 rows and 12 columns 
okay fine so each column contains suppose students if this is our matrix is just imagine this is our matrix is okay this is the whole array two dimensional array then just see this is our row indices this is our column indices see this is our column indices fine and this is our row indices so let's see just write down the row and column indexes number okay students as my row index starts from minus 4 i am just writing it like this minus 4 then minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 i do not need to write each and every terms fine and my row and the column index starts with 2 so i, I just written like like 2 3 4 5 6 okay see just focus on this figure okay fine here right now what i need i need to find out the 36th element okay what we have we have eight rows 12 columns now the question coming in our mind that the elements stored in which fashion column major or row major column major right that means the first element should be over here then it goes like this first column then second column then third column and then fourth column okay so according to the column wise the data element will be inserted so now tell me what is the 36th element fine see the first column will be filled out with the data that means eight elements are there okay again second again eight eight plus eight 16 then again third column will be filled eight plus eight plus eight 16 plus eight 24 and then fourth column so such like this 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 that means when the your four columns are completely filled with data it becomes 32 elements now in the fifth one okay so what is exactly our fifth column see the first column number is 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and then 6 6 is the index 6 in the is the index it is our fifth numbers column fine so after completing 32 elements the first element will become 33 34 35 36 so this is the exactly place which is our 36th element fine so now just get the i and j for it see i becomes i becomes minus 1 and j becomes 6 okay with this you can find out the 36th element now you have everything you have i j base address lr lc and obviously capital r so just put all the data into the formula and get the answer the answer becomes 220 so students such like this we can calculate the address of element when the data elements are stored into the column major i hope you have already understood it very well so, so students in today's lecture we learn two dimensional array memory address calculation one for row major and second one for the column major if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much Thank you.